in this video, we learn about generation of sinusoidal AC current. AC has lot of advantages over DC. It can be transmitted across long distances without losses. So, it is very important to learn how this AC current is generated. The construction part is very similar to DC machines which you would learn in the upcoming modules. But for now, let's focus on the working part. It consists of two magnets, a conductor loop, slip rings, brushes and a prime mover like a diesel engine. Magnetic field will be set up between the magnetic poles. Now, according to Faraday's law, if there is a relative motion between the magnetic field and the conductor, an EMF will be generated in the conductor and hence we get the AC current. When the conductor ABCD rotates in the magnetic field, we should get EMF in these conductors. Let us understand how this happens. At first, the conductor will be at 0 degree position. At this instant, the plane of the conductor is perpendicular to the magnetic field. The velocity components of the conductor AB and CD will be parallel to the magnetic field. Velocity component means the direction in which the conductor will move. At this instant, there won't be any linkage between the conductor and the flux and hence there is no EMF. If we move slightly ahead, say about 45 degrees, the velocity components will be cutting or linking with magnetic field as we can see. By that, we get a small amount of EMF. Here, 45 degree is measured between the plane of the conductor and the magnetic field. Now, if we move still ahead and reach the 90 degree position, the velocity components of conductor AB and CD will be perpendicular to the magnetic field. Hence, there will be maximum linking of flux and we get maximum EMF. We can see this in the graph where the current reaches the positive peak value. Moving on, as the loop comes to 180 degree position again, the velocity components will be parallel to magnetic field and therefore there is no EMF. At 270 degrees, the components will be perpendicular to the magnetic field again and we get maximum EMF. We can see that in the graph, but this time it will reach the negative peak value. Finally, at 360 degrees, that is, after it completes one full rotation, the components of velocity becomes parallel to the field again and EMF becomes zero. This is one complete cycle of an alternating current produced by this generator. One of the most key facts we observed was the current changed its direction halfway through the cycle. We should know how it happens. When the conductor is traveling from 0 degrees to 180 degree position, the current direction in the loop will be AB to CD. This is validated by Fleming's right hand rule. According to the rule, as the conductor AB is moving down, we should get the current in the direction AB. But after the 180 degree mark, the conductor AB will move in the upward direction. So, according to the principles, the current direction should be from B to A. So, in second half of the cycle, the current direction in the loop will be DCBA. In the first half of the cycle, it was ABCD. This is how the single phase AC generator works. To sum up, in this video, we learnt about parts which make up the AC generator, working of AC generator and how the current changes its direction. In the next video, we learn about few important terms related to sinusoidal voltage.